Hey, everybody. It's Friday. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is our Friday edition of Rockstar Interview, uh, where we interview top agents and marketing experts around the country uh, and get lots of great tips for everybody. So while you're getting on, and before I introduce our guest today, uh, I'm Sherry Johnson and founder and CEO of Sherry Johnson Coaching. So excited to have all of you with us. Uh, thank you for downloading our uh, new podcast, You Rock with Sherry Johnson, a real estate podcast. Uh, we are over 1,500 plus, maybe even more uh, downloads in less than two months. I'm thrilled. I love that everyone is enjoying the content. Um, and as you jump on, do me a favor. Let us know you're on in the comments. Put your name, put the city you're calling in from, and get ready to ask questions to our speaker, our, our guest uh, that's on today with us, uh, Will Penny from Stowe, Ohio, and Social Orchard. And I can't, I can't wait to uh, have our conversation because you've got, um, I mean, we're right next to each other. This is unbelievable. Oh, so believe welcome. Welcome, Thanks. Will. So nice to have yeah, you. I think we're what, 25 minutes apart? Yeah, about. Yes, that's yeah. absolutely crazy. So um, tell us. Houses in, you're in Chagrin Falls? I am. Yeah, I just yes. sold two houses there, one on Cat's Den and one on Solon Road. I I'm on those roads constantly, either running or driving. That's so funny. And so do you, you run? I do. I'm a, I run about 60 miles a week. I'm a pretty avid runner. I used to be about 30. I'm getting back to my 30. Good for you. 30 yeah. solid. And, you know, about six half marathons a year I was doing. That's awesome. Um, which I didn't start running. I have to tell you this until I was 39. Oh. I started very late. I used to play tennis and everything. But I started running at 39 and I ran my first half uh, at 40, like right around yeah. 40. Okay. And then I was like, you know, Akron, I'm sure you've done the Akron Marathon a bunch of times. I'm signed up to do it in September. I'm going to do the half. So this is so cool. So we're going to, we'll, we'll actually, we have so much in common besides real estate and running now. Um, yeah. You have kids. Do you have kids? I, yeah, I have a 20, almost 22 year old daughter. She's finishing up. She's got, she's going to be a senior at OU. And then my son's 20, he'll be 25 next week. Wow. And he graduated from University of Akron last year. I saw some great pictures of them uh, on your Facebook. Oh, good, yeah. Good looking kids. Good looking kids. Um, and so before we jump into Social Orchard, how long you've been selling houses? Give us a little bit of history about your brokerage and, and, and your background. So um, I got into real estate. I got my real estate license when I was 19. And that was 33 years ago. Wow. Uh, 1988, April of 88. And then uh, I was with Century 21 at the time. I uh, met my wife when we were at Remax together in, two, in 1990. Uh, we got married in 92. Um, started Penny Real Estate in February of 01. Uh, I have a small team of five. I've got an amazing team. It's small, but we sold 217 houses last year with five people. Unbelievable. And like I've comp um, I've eliminated Realtor.com. I've el just about eliminated Zillow. I'm only keeping a little bit because I've got 557 reviews on Zillow, um, which is a lot. Wow. And uh, so, yeah, we've got I've done podcasts just on that. We've our whole business is around mm -hmm. referrals and social proof, which is why you're having me on. So I know. So I love the term social proof. Uh, everyone listening, really take note. You're going to get a lot of great content. And I believe hands on like things that you can actually action items you can implement this weekend. You know, this it's is what's very so boring though. It's very boring. <laughs> Not at all. I, I, I believe, first of all, uh, 217 houses with five people is amazing. So my uh, hats off to you. I, I think that is, that's amazing. You've I appreciate that. Team. Thank you. That's a big we deal. Hard at it. And, uh, plus we're, an in, we're in a small independent in a sea of big names. So That's right. Um, that's right. Um, and I, I get it. And I used to manage 750 people and offices, you know, that didn't do, I mean, that's a lot for five people. Howard Hanna? I did, yeah. yeah. I so we're half the size of an average Howard Hanna office with five people. 
your production is yeah um, they do about 500 transactions we do we did 256 the year before we had a few less last year that's awesome and you know um it looks like, you know, I was looking at your agents too. They very solid. It You've got, oh, it's not right. all being done by one person. I mean, I think you have a, a good mix of just quality people and you're right. And they're salaried. I have three of my five people are salaried. Um, so I've got a listing manager. She's amazing. They're all, they all came from the Catholic school where my kids went. So oh, Tina's wow. got triplets. Uh, she's been with me eight years. She's my listing manager and office manager. And then okay. Rebecca is my licensed showing agent. And uh, she just shows my clients homes. Plus, she sells about 25 houses herself. And then I've got my wife's very close friend. Uh, uh, Jen is licensed and she's our closing coordinator. And then I've got Laura and Nick who are fantastic. And they're just they do their own thing. And I just support them. That's fantastic. And um, so tell us, so you've got a great long history of real estate. I cannot believe we haven't met. I'm, I'm I know. bored because, because I'm in Summit County and no one's heard of me in Cuyahoga County. Well, and I'm, yeah, I mean, and then I was on the West side for almost right. nine or 10 years. Um, but it's really great to meet you. And now, Ooh, you know, wow. it's such a small world. We have so many things in common. It took my producer Zach Shaw to put us together. I love that. Zach's a great dude. Yeah. I was I'm, 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 I'm pretty close with Jesse Zagoski. Yes. And, um, and that's the connection there. Same with me. I met uh, Zach through Jesse and uh, I was on Jesse's podcast at Agent yeah. Huddle. Yeah, I was on the Agent Power Huddle. And I'm doing right. some, you know what? I didn't see that. Um, I'm doing some training with his, with his downline at EXP. Exactly. I'm actually going to meet him. Uh, Jesse out in San Diego in September because I'm going out oh, there to speak and um, I'm like, dude, I'm gonna be in. If you're on this, Jesse, I can't wait to meet you. I mean, we're it's fantastic. He's such he's a great doing a webinar right now. I think he is. He's such a great guy. He's such a great guy. Uh, he's. I really like him a lot. And so we get to meet because of him, and yet another great connection through Zach. Zach, you're listening. You rock. He's like my favorite. Favorite. Mike's a great young guy. I like him a lot. He's very yeah. helpful. So our whole purpose today is to talk about how to generate more referrals from Facebook groups. And um, what's interesting, I just want to say out loud, I've got a ton of clients that are members of Sherry Johnson Coaching that that do this, but I have a lot of I, more people that don't realize the the real referral, uh, maximizing referrals that can happen from being strategic with Facebook groups in a way that's uh, not obnoxious and it's, it's, it's a giving, serving, helpful manner to help community Facebook. So I'm, I hope you're going to share with us, um, first of all, what is Social Orchard exactly? And then tell us you know, how you got started with that. And then we're going to launch into talking about how to generate more referrals on Facebook groups. So let me go backwards a little bit because Social Orchard is a byproduct of what happened. So um, here's the thing, it, it, realtors who are listening today and your clients, I've got a, a pretty good view over the last 30 years of the things that have been happening in our business. And um, the last two to three years, the biggest change that, you, that we have seen, you have seen that is going to impact, it's impacting us now, but it's going to get a lot worse is these third party companies that are backed by Wall Street. They're spending hundreds of millions of dollars to get in front of home buyers and sellers, have the home buyer and seller contact them. Then they refer them out to a realtor on their roster and collect a referral fee. So they're, they're working diligently. I'm talking about Op City, like in our marketplace right now in Ohio, Below every realtor.com listing, yep. there is a link that says uh, a better way to buy this house. And you click on it and they offer you a rebate from the commission. They refer you to an op city realtor partner, charge them a 35% referral fee and you're gone. So yep. in the past, we could choose how we could be, you know, a lot of realtors didn't worry too much about their um, 
whether they got referrals or not, because it just didn't really show up on their radar. I've been focused on it since 1997 when I went to a Joe Stump by referral only university three day main event. And that's what changed my head. And we didn't even really have technology. We had top producer, but it was on your on your desktop. Yes. We didn't really use the Internet much then. So I've been I created a database back then and I'm still in touch with the people I sold back in 90, 1997. So I back then or two, three years ago, you could decide how you wanted to get business going forward. The companies like Op City, uh, Effective Agent, Ideal Agent, Fast Expert, UpNest, uh, Homelight, um, Dave Ramsey. They are spending millions of dollars every month to get in front of your people. And we didn't have that before. Mm -hmm. So before, if your people, they would they would think, well, I better call back. Uh, what's her name? Uh, Sher Sherry. And then let's see if she's still in the business. Right now, they're going to every if they go on Facebook or if they're on YouTube or if before they even have a chance to do that, before they think, let's better call, sh who is who was it? Will, what, what's his name? They're going to see an ad of some sort from one of those seven companies I mentioned, and there's even more than that, yeah. is going to have them contact them and then they're go you're out of the picture. They're, yeah. Because they're gonna, they're gonna offer them something, either a reduced fee or uh, better access to top agents. Uh, they don't all lead by commission but they at least lead by let us cut through the work for you and get you a top agent with good reviews, right? So if your bottom line is this, if you just do a world-class job of giving them good service when they buy their house or sell their house, and then you think that is going to be enough, in the past it might've been enough, but now there are these companies that are spending, ideal agents spent a million, because I get referrals from them, they spent a million dollars last month on television. A million dollars last month. That's just ideal agent. Home light is on television. So, so the point, if that doesn't scare agents into keeping their arms around their sphere of influence, then nothing will. So it's not going to be a matter of how much I spend on Zillow. You're not, you're going to, they're going to, you're going to be out of the picture. That's the right. problem. So, I, last year, so the reason I wanted to spend some time on that is because that's where the real fear came from. And I didn't want to, I didn't want to end up having my, I'm only 52. I still need to make money and uh, I'm used to making quite a lot and I could see this change. And now what's happening, these companies, because there's, before there was just home light and effective agents been around for a couple of years. In fact, but now they're becoming destructively competitive because they're competing with each other. And that is what needs to be even more scary to us. Well, and I want to pause you for one second. You know, I remember the affinity programs where everybody was trying to take our past clients and our, our sphere um, at Costco. I mean, you go into Costco and it says you want to buy a house, you know, buy or sell a house, come here. And it was a 35% or probably then a 30% referral fee out to an agent. And those affinity programs, uh, existed and they were awful then i've seen all these commercials of the companies you're mentioning and i've thought the exact same thing as i'm listening to and watching these commercials everyone's going to lose their sphere and their database and their clients if they are not careful so uh, i'm so, so yeah i'm glad you're touching on all of this so anyway i we contact our clients quarterly we text them i hound my people in our weekly meetings about that we have a client event. We're having one in September at a brewery in Cuyahoga Falls. We'll probably have 250 people show up to it. Awesome. But that's not enough. We have a monthly newsletter. That's not enough. So I started thinking people aren't opening emails. It's very hard to get emails open. Mm -hmm. uh, you can only Facebook message one at a time. So it's just not efficient. You know, when you're talking about a thousand people or 1500 people. So I just started thinking to myself, what can I do? So I watched this, this documentary last year called The Social Dilemma on Facebook or on, uh, on, on uh, Netflix. Netflix, yeah. And basically it talked about the algorithms on Facebook and how Facebook is, it's become a utility. Over 80% of people in the United States are on Facebook, right? 75% of them use it every month. Now, 
COVID-19, because we, you know, most of the states had some sort of a shutdown last year, because everyone's on Facebook, they're working remotely, so they're on Facebook more. They've become, the addiction has become like real. Then what's happened is they're on there all the time. And last year, Facebook made it, excuse me, the pandemic made it so that if you wanted to talk to your, see your sister's kids, she'd post pictures and you could see them on Facebook. But people started using Facebook to actually have, they replaced face-to-face -face interaction with Facebook. And you, you can't do that with Instagram or TikTok. It's a completely different vehicle. Facebook is more about communication. So after watching that documentary, I started doing some research on the products that Facebook has. And I've spent God knows how much on my Facebook business page over the years, probably four to $500 a month boosting ads. We have almost 1,900 followers. And what we don't realize is that we aimlessly post stuff on our business Facebook page and it, nobody sees it. Less than 3% of your fans see it. Anyone who's watching this, go to your business page uh -huh. and see that you, at most, you had seven likes, probably one, usually nothing um, on a Facebook page, unless you click boost post. So, and then they changed, so they changed that algorithm in 2018 to monetize business pages. So mm -hmm. business pages are an absolute waste unless you're throwing money at it, right? The other thing is business pages are for broadcasting. So it's very hard to engage people on a broadcast. It'd be like a billboard or a website. It's very hard to engage people on a business page. The personal page, they changed the algorithm in 2018. They call it Facebook Zero because they were getting a lot of pushback that you'd have, say, 500 Facebook friends, and they would show every post from every friend on your feed. So people were getting away from Facebook because it was just like chaos. You didn't want to see, like, every time yes. school starts, you'd see... 80 kids photos and everyone's dinner, everyone's new car, everyone's decorating, right? So Facebook made a change in 2018 so that they wanted to make it about relationships. So their algorithm changed so that they only showed you posts from people that they determined you to have a real relationship with. And, so, and that algorithm is smarter than any of us. Is this, is this why I don't see every single person's post? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I've got 900 Facebook friends and I see the same 20. So the point I'm making is realtors who are trying to use a business page, it's not working unless you're spending like more than a car payment every month, yeah. boosting posts and likes. Likes don't pay bills. Relationships do. Conversations. Ah, do. So true. So and on the personal page, I see a lot of realtors posting their business stuff to their personal page and the algorithm is is smarter than you. You can't the most you're going to. You might have 100 people out of your 800 Facebook friends see any post. And because it's, a, again, a, it's a broadcasting uh, page, yeah. you don't see a lot of conversations going on a personal page. Like if you post a picture of your kid, someone might go, oh, cute, and you might say thanks. But you're not going to see banter like you will in a Facebook group, which is the third product. So Facebook made a change to their groups uh, last year. Because they realized that with COVID, people are lonely and they started joining groups like fly fishing groups, tennis groups, uh, traveling groups. What, there's 600 million groups, literally. And Dang. they determined that the, the average person that is a member of at least one group stays on Facebook 38 minutes a day longer. Well, Facebook is only an advertising site. That's the only way they make money is advertising. That's it. That's the only way. It's free. We're the product, not the customer. That's right. The Social is, dilemma. It's the 2.7 million people eyes on there. And the, the, the customer is the advertiser. And they decide which, which eyes to put any ad in front of. It's, so if they can keep you on the platform longer, they can show you more ads. Yep. So the groups, I'm a member of several groups. I'm sure you are as well. And mm -hmm. you've got your own group. Um, Right. Groups are very transparent. They're made for conversations. And Facebook has thrown all their weight at groups because they know that people who are on groups stay on the platform all day long because they're looking, they're, they're having conversations and, and relationships with people that have common interests, which is what groups are about. Yes. So to answer your question about Social Orchard, last December, after all of this, I thought, you know, I'm going to 
me back up. I do something new every year. Like the year before last, I bought a moving truck and I loaned it out to my clients. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife started a staging company and we got a new CRM follow-up boss. Well, this last year, I'm like, what can we do to, to ramp up our referral-based business and stay in touch with our sphere better because of all the stuff I told you about? It was really worrying me a lot. Like I, this is the biggest change that I've ever seen, these third-party companies, because they're hot and heavy. And Zillow, is, they're doing it. They, they're, they're flex program. They're getting away from premier agent. In many markets, they're charging just a referral fee, right? Um, they're going to get rid of the find an agent button because they won't be able to promote you as an agent. That's why I put everything on Google now. Uh, that's another show. But so I started thinking, I'm going to start a Facebook group. And because I understand the, 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 the way that engine work, you bring people into the group, you post to it, and Facebook will show those posts to everybody in the group. So I thought as long as I can get my clients in there, well, I found because there's so many people on Facebook, you can use it as a CRM. Like almost everyone you know, unless they're below 25, uh, and I can't put a top on it because, right. you know, elderly people are on Facebook. They are. Because their kids got them on so they could see their grandkids last year because they couldn't leave their homes. Correct. So I thought to myself, I'm going to get my past clients in there, my sphere, get my fr my team member in there, get them to focus on bringing their sphere in. So we quickly built it up to about 400 people, all sphere of influence, all past clients. And then uh, I started just racking my brain about the content. Well, I last year, every realtor I know, including me, posted how we sold homes for over list price. We had 58 offers right. you know, sold for 100,000 over list. Uh, all that did, I realized, was make buyers feel like they shouldn't be buying homes and sellers feel like they don't need us anymore. Right. Exactly. So, oh my gosh. Thank you for saying that had to be said. That's what's happening. When you post something saying, I just sold one, two, three Oak street. We had 60 showings the first day. We got 12 offers. Uh, I have no value. value. I mean, what? We have no value. We, we didn't. The, it, it makes a seller go, well, if I can just put my house on the market on Zillow, and it's going to sell for 20 grand over list. What the heck do I need to pay a commission for? Correct. And it tells sellers there's no inventory if they want to go buy something. So bad. All all the way way bad. bad all we're the way doing way. it because we think we're the only one who's doing it. And hey, look at me. I sell houses fast and for top dollar. But when we do it in mass on social uh, media, it it got bad. It did. So, I started okay. this group and I started thinking about the content and I started finding questions uh, nothing real estate related. The quickest way to clear a room with a group is to start talking about your business. <laughs> right? I mean, yes, and I love that you just said that's just nothing real estate related. And yes, I totally agree. It's quickest about having way. people know, like, and trust you. According to the NAR, 70% uh, of people uh, rely on a referral uh, from a friend. Seven out of 10 people talk hire the first yep. agent they talk to. It's so true. So, so people still rely on recommendations. Uh, Absolutely. And that is why if they don't get a recommendation, they're going online and they're going to call one of those companies and you're going to have your, you're going to get a commission haircut bigger than the one you're used to. Right. Absolutely. So I Absolutely. figured out very quickly what kind of uh, content to post. And it was like, you know, we post stuff, we'd recommend contractors. We'd, recommend local restaurants, things to do. We'd ask questions. Do you like this? Uh, put four garages on there. What do you think of this door or that door? And we're getting 50, 60, 100 comments on every post. And then all we do, so my mindset was CRM, like forget about Facebook. I, my mindset was CRM and client event. So now every day is a client event. So I talk to them that way. And we, we don't, if you had a client event, you wouldn't walk up to your people there and say, hey, you know anyone who's looking to move? Right. Or you wouldn't do that because they already know the realtor. So if you build relationships with people and you, and they know, like, and trust you and you, and, and you let them know that you rely on referrals, you don't have to ask. That's right. That's right. So, you, just, you just continue to thank them. Right. So the, the group became the best thing that I have done um, to, cause now I can stay in touch. We've got 850 people in there now Okay. every week. Uh, we have members inviting members. 
Uh, we have members asking questions every day, just like a community page, uh, asking for electricians and all that stuff. So they're using our Penny Real Estate Friends and Family page to go to as a reference for local stuff. So we. Uh, so that's the group that the uh, Penny and is it Penny and Friends? Penny Real Estate Friends and Family. Okay. That's the group. No realtors in there. Okay. So. Uh, so I, just anyway, like I did a webinar for my business coach back in January. He asked me to talk about this because he knew how excited I was because I figured I'd finally hit the golden goose to stay in touch with my sphere on a platform. They're already on all day because their boss isn't smacking their hands. So they can look at they can look at this, you know, while they're while they're uh, working. Right. Right. Uh, so. I figured out I can stay in touch with people who are already on the platform. I don't have to say, hey, come over here and see me. They're already on Facebook with or without me. There it is. Yeah, it's fabulous. And it's, it's, and it's a private group. I'm going to mention this is it's part a of the strategy. Group and it's, but it's branded. It's got a picture of our moving truck. I love it. I love it. It's very nice. So my right. business coach said, hey, can you do a, a webinar for my co coaching clients? I, they need to do this. I'm like, sure. So I did that. They paid me $300 each. I was like, I didn't expect that. And uh, afterwards, they're like, well, how do we start a group? What kind of content should we post? How long does it take? So I was down in Florida. We go to Florida three months a year. I go to Marco Island, Florida. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, we like it. I, love and, it. Uh, nice. I came up with the name Social Orchard. My son actually came up with it. Okay. We started a website and I started uh, talking to all those realtors signed up. And I started giving them the content and they weren't bailing afterwards. And I'm like, I'm going to turn this into a business because everyone's on Facebook. Everyone's a member of a group. Realtors are tr trying desperately to use social media without success. They're just doing blasting everywhere, doing yeah. silly videos, and they're not getting sales from it. You know, we get referrals and sales from this group. Why? Because we're engaging with these people every day now instead of once a quarter. You're like, talking about which group gets you the my, my private Facebook group. We're now engaging with our members, which are our past clients in Sphere, every day instead of once a quarter. So there's no way for them to forget about us. So the, the friends and family group has 800 plus people in it, right? That's the group I'm talking about. Yeah, and it's past clients and sphere of influence. I was going to say, so you invite them. Yeah. And then it's um, what kind of, so you put in content about contractors and uh, helpful, you know, restaurants, helpful um, vendors that you trust and like. Um, what, so when you get all those posts, like what, what, what's the dialogue? Like what's, what's, what's the engagement about? Like are people. So, yeah, the engagement is. Um, People just comment on like we had one the other day. Uh, what's a restaurant that you went to as a kid that's no longer around? We had 85 comments. And then they because it, it's nostalgic. Completely. So, uh, what uh, what's a what's a secret that or what's a hidden skill that you have that no one knows about? So but we only pepper those in. And then we do like architectural ones. Like we had one uh, top designers are saying that uh, painted frames, painted window frames are in. What do you think? And then 40 comments on that. And wow. then once a day I go, we go in and we just respond. I don't have Facebook on my phone. So once a day for five minutes, I just go in and I respond to all the comments. Unbelievable. So, so, yeah. I mean, it's, it, it takes no time um, we post our content for two or three weeks out. Uh, when someone signs up with us, basically they get all the training, how to set the group up, the settings to use, how to populate it, and all of the content for a whole month. And all of the content came from our group. And so Social Orchard is actually the social media agency. Yeah, yeah. Social, social Orchard is my way. When I have agents that say, hey, can you help me with this? I created social orchards so that they can go on, they can sign up for it's $89 for a solo agent, $149 a month for a team agent. Okay. But then they get all of the video training on how to set the group up and make Perfect. it work. They get weekly bomb bomb videos with best practices. Perfect. 
and they get a folder once a month with 20 posts in it. And all they got to do is copy them and paste them into the. Come on. All the content's ready to go. Um, I was going to ask you, do you do uh, live Facebook lives or do you do a video and post in the. We, uh, so we post Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. So four days a week. But then people are engaging with the post throughout the week. Okay. Like I've got people commenting on a post from last Friday. You know what I mean? Right. Yes. So, yeah. Yeah. Because they come in and they see posts that they find cool yeah. and then they'll comment. They keep scrolling too. Yeah. yeah. What did I miss oh, almost? Exactly. What did I miss? Um, so, so, so the video, what kind of do you, you, you never talk about real estate? No, I do. Like the other day, I encourage agents to do over and above what we're doing. But if they don't, which is just posting what we post. The cool thing is because I'm not a guru, because you're not a guru, you sold houses, right? Right. That's what I'm saying. So you, you're not someone on the outside trying to tell a realtor what they need to do. Exactly, exactly. And I think too, you know, it is all, um, I, I've always, you know, when I was an agent, I, you know, was selling a lot of houses um, in the Solon market, actually, you probably know that area, that's where I grew mm -hmm. up, and Solon, Sugar and Bainbridge up to Mayfield, Pepper Pike, and it's all relationships and adding value. And the very last thing we're doing is selling. People just want to work with you because they like the value that you're giving them. And, and they know, like, and trust you. They know, like, and trust you. They know, like, and trust you. We were trained by the same people. Did you go to Howard Britton? Um, I know who he is. Howard yeah. Britton, star power, or I must. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's no, like, and trust. And that's, your top client list, whether it's 250 people or 300 people that somebody just had a coaching call with this morning, we were talking about the VIP list and how to add value to those people. Your best lead generation system is your sphere. And it it is so critical, especially right now. I, I completely agree with you. So on the video side, um, when you post something that's a video, are you at a restaurant talking about yeah, so Okay. Uh, Wednesday, we went to a new Middle East restaurant in Akron. I stood outside because I'm not like a big gregarious guy. So I just stood outside and said, hey, we're at uh, Sanibel Middle East restaurant today. It's in Akron at whatever the address, 307 East South Street. Uh, you got to check this place out. I went in. It was a 40 second video. I said, look at the shelves. Look at the bread. This is they've got sandwiches. And I said, you got to try this place out. And I posted it to the group. It's perfect. So how much time does an agent need to devote to, to the content piece? They're going to, if they right. sign up for social orchard, which would be great. You're not even saying that I am, but if, if they did that and they got all the content, how much time would they need to devote to managing this? I know you it said takes, uh, Facebook groups has a scheduler. Like you can, uh, you can put, scheduled po there's a scheduled post link right and you can schedule the post two o'clock every day like four days a week for weeks out and it takes maybe under an hour to post the whole month and Love then you it. forget about it and then once a day that but the key though is engagement you have to if someone's going to just post content and then let set it and forget it like the ronco you know yeah new thing yeah I mean, that doesn't work. work you have to but it takes I'm very meticulous. I, I post this stuff about two or three weeks out. And keep in mind, I'm spending hours coming up with content. I'm paying attention to the comments we get. And those are the only posts, the, good, the really high traffic ones, that I put in the folder for the agents. So they don't have to figure that out. And, and I'm so focused on my group because, again, I'm a 40 to $50 million a year agent. I and any of any agent that's at that level is really focused on their business. So I have this group's very, it's like the engine of our business now. Completely. I mean, we still send out bomb bomb market updates and we still do a snail mail newsletter and have client events and call quarterly. But to answer your question, it takes, if you just post like four posts, it takes 15 minutes. You can post the whole month in an hour at once or have, ad, or have your admin do it if you have a team. It's a great team retention tool because you get your team in into your one team group. They invite their friends and family in. Now, if they ever leave you, their entire database is in your group. That's right. Um, you know, I was at, I remember, gosh, this was 2017, I think. I was at 
uh, I was meeting with homes.com to become their national speaker. And I heard a, their, the speaker at the time, actually it was Chris Smith. And he, he told the whole audience, get out your phones and post this right now to prove this point. And it was really weird. And I thought it was like, this is not my style, but I did it anyway. And the question he wanted us to put into our personal Facebook page was, how many states have you lived in? And, and I, so I picked the tropical palm tree background and I typed, how many states have you lived in, Will? And I was like, am I really doing this? This is so not me, but I did it. And I hit enter and I hit post and I said, you know, I went ahead and hit the button. And within one hour, 98 people answered my question. Wow. And then people were saying, how many states have you lived in, Sherry? They were actually that two-way engagement. So this was like, I don't know, the end of 17. And I can tell you that it's not just the likes. Likes don't, you cannot deposit that. You cannot make money. You need two-way engagement and the, the, Best is the best, most, I believe this wholeheartedly, which is why I love this whole interview. It might be one of my favorite ones, is that Facebook groups are about everything but real estate. And yet you're in, conversation. The center, you're in the center of it all. And so have you been able to tell, like, obviously people call you then, right? So it's not because they're reading your stuff on this and they're constantly seeing a daily post from Penny Real Estate Friends and Family. Um, can you say to me, you know, I have I have clients who do events and they say I got nine leads from that one event, you know, a bowling alley event or some fun party thing. What's your like when you when you look at this group since you started it? Um, you know, has your business picked up from the people in this group or is it just yeah, so new? It's so funny. Realtors always ask me, well. What are you getting from it? Is it worth it? And my first question back is, when you buy $1,000 worth of pumpkins and you send out an invitation to your past clients and say, come get a pumpkin, how do you monetize that? If you, I spend, I'm spending $4,000 at Ohio Brewing Company in September to bring 200 people in. How do I monetize that? It's, it's huge amounts of time and effort, a ton of money, uh, when you go pl uh, put American flags and signs in a neighborhood you're farming, how do you monetize that? If you send out postcards over and over and over again to a neighborhood, how, people just do that stuff aimlessly. Right. Right. With a group like this, the way I look at it, you've got the people that you know. It's just like having they Facebook groups have become a utility. So they look they actually use it to communicate. Right. Uh, I mean, there was a time in history where if you talk to me on the phone, we both thought something bad was going to happen. It was just a gimmick. You know, when texting first came out, I was like, in 2004, I was completely against it. I'm like, this is stupid. I, I'm not hitting this key three times just to get an A. I'm not doing it. Right. But then eventually it becomes like my dad's 79. He only texts me. So Facebook <laughs> has become a tool that whether we like it or not, People use to communicate and stay in touch with people. It's just like reality to them, totally. good or bad. That, that's why they get, you know, you can say things on Facebook and be a, key, a keyboard hero and like completely alienate like right. hundreds of people at once. Well, and you know, it's funny, like people will say, I, uh, I talked to this agent and I'm like, I realized they didn't actually speak to them. It was, they talked to them via a text or an email or mm -hmm. a messenger. And I have to say, was it live conversation? I actually have to say, you spoke to that person, but was it right. in person live or was it on some sort of tech, you know, tech tool? And they're like, exactly. oh no, well, it was on Snapchat. I'm like, okay, well, we didn't really talk to them then, but that's your so right. That's what they consider they it. They think they did. I talked to that person because I communicated with them. Uh, so tell us about this social credibility and so the term social proof and um but to answer your question about the answer your question about what am i getting from it yeah, yeah. i am finding that my my group is elevating i'm i'm moving up the food chain with them i'm more i'm i'm more of their sphere now before they were just mine yes you see what i'm saying yes i we do 
couple of weeks ago, I posted um, shameless plug. We want more reviews on Google. If you post a review for us uh, today, I'm going to have a raffle later for a gift card. 27 people posted reviews. Now, I don't believe for one second they did it for the gift card. I think they did it to help us out, right? There's a, that is the goal. They yeah. wanted to help us out. So I had a call two nights ago from a, a lady. I helped her buy her house in 2005. I haven't spoken to her since. She gets my newsletter. And in like sometime this year, I friend requested her because we look for our people that we know on Facebook on the friends request or on the suggested friends list. Okay. So that's the CRM aspect because you can find almost everybody there, okay. at least eight or nine out of 10 people. Right. I agree. Because most yeah. people, you know, are on Facebook. So I friend, friend requested her, uh, Kathy, I, I won't say her last name, but she invited her into the group two nights ago. I haven't had a conversation with her since 2005 when I helped her buy her house. I'm going over tomorrow to list her mom's house in North Royalton. Exactly. I, in, in exactly. December, first guy I ever sold a house to, Steve Rodenbucker, two, 1988, 285 East Archwood in Akron. Uh, 8,000 bucks. Helped him buy the house, sold it for him when he got married, and then lost touch because he didn't have a cell phone. And he moved without telling me because I had no way of really, other than letters and stuff back then. Uh, well, I found him on Facebook in December. So I sent him a friend request and a Facebook message. He said, oh my God, you were my first client ever. And he said, oh, that's crazy. Well, he came into the group. He had a seven-year relationship with another agent. He does rehabs. Well, I just sold a house for him. And I got a full commission. My, he paid my wife to stage it. We have a staging company. Wow. And, uh, and it closed. And then he wrote a review for me in the group. So it, that is, um, he probably wouldn't have come to a client event. You know, if I would have invited him to a client event, he probably wouldn't have gone out of his way to come down there. But because he didn't know me anymore, but he got in the group and now he loves right. me. You're part of their sphere. You just said it. It's awesome. It it is like it is like it's pure gold. All of this. You know, I love the title Penny Real Estate Friends and Family. That's what I tell every agent and loan officer who has signed up with us. It's their name and their company name, Joe Blow, KW, whatever, friends and family. Yep. Because then it's branded. Because here's the thing. A lot of restaurants have problems because people don't put things in their suggestion box. They just won't go back. Like yes. you and I are probably, we're drivers, you know, we're type A if I get screwed over at a restaurant, I'm going to, I don't want to, I'm going to say, I don't want any free food. I'm just telling you to, to fix this for yourself. So you don't go under. Right. Yeah. I feel that <laughs> that's my job, even though he probably thinks I'm an idiot. But the point is most people won't do that. They'll just bow out. Well, most people we know, they're like la silent landmines. They're on Facebook. They're, sn they're sniffing around. They never post. They never like, right. they never comment, but they're there. And they see it. That's how most people are. Well, now every day they see a post. They, they may look at it from Penny Real Estate Friends and Family. Even if they're not someone to click the like button or comment, they see our posts. And it's just like sending a, a postcard, but it didn't right. cost a dollar. Totally. You look at it and throw it in the trash. They get to see our no. post, which is the same thing. And it's free. It's, 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 I used to say posting on Facebook was a, is the virtual version of a postcard and it's free. Like you just right. said, it's completely free. You know, one of my clients did a, um, he has a VIP face Facebook group, Jordan Trostler, he's a rock star guy, but he, um, he did something great. He gave away a trip and he said, hash, if you post on your personal page, hashtag Jordan Trostler gets it done. He's got this awesome Louisiana accent. And he said, you're in, in, uh, you're in the hat for this like three day trip or four day trip to, uh, it was like the Caribbean somewhere. Okay. So they were like a real trip. Right. And, um, he had hundreds of people post just a post that all it said was hashtag Jordan Trostler gets it done. That's all it said. And, and he didn't put branding on or anything. And all these people 
all these people were like, who is this guy? What's he do? And the, the amount of exposure and the new audience of new people, it was unbelievable. And you just said it, you know, shameless plug. We're looking for some reviews. Reviews. Now, are those reviews going into your Facebook business page? No. Where are those reviews going? Stay Google. Google. Okay. So I'm you put the link, you put a link in there for Google? Yeah, I put the link to our Google profile in the post. Okay. And I said click on this. Um, we've got 159 or eight reviews on Google. You have 557 on Zillow. Did you check it out? No, you told me that at the beginning right of the interview. <laughs> but I was like, I remember the number. Like you said 557. Yeah. And I was like, it's a lot. So it's true. And I will say this, you know, 85 plus percent are looking at reviews. They're looking at your online presence. Um, you know, you can you can develop your own sphere right within a Facebook a private Facebook group. That is that doesn't cost anything. Let me go back to, you know, the business page. We have to boost in order for people to see that. Um, how much does one of these face, private Facebook groups cost? Uh, zero. Nothing. And and yet so many people are kind of, I think, I don't want to say they're jammed up with, you know, how to do it. I just think they they need to realize what you've already done even over a year ago, which is how do I make Facebook like my own CRM where I can mine and remine my own people that I already know. And like I say, go into the people you know and the search of you know, if you like or, or request request to friend invite 50 people a day, okay? No one knows you did that. Like, it feels weird. It might be like, oh, this is kind of weird. Everyone just got one friend request. Exactly. They don't know that you sent out 50 of them, right? So you have to be strategic and you have to build uh, your, take your client list and make sure you are connected with everybody on Facebook, just like uh, Will said here. What else, uh, before we wrap up, what, what other advice do you give agents uh, looking to get more referrals in this, like doing a book group uh, that well, I mean, laid out I mean, today? I don't want to beat it to death with the group. It's just the mindset is how else are you going to get in front of as many people that you know that are already on the platform at once you it's scalable i mean it like for me again we still call and check in on people hey sherry was in your neighborhood uh, just checking in hope you're doing well enjoying your summer we still do that quarterly i mean i do it i'll just go through a year's worth of sales go into the mls click the uh, the tax id look them up in my phone send them the hey sherry was in the neighborhood hope you're doing well text then they'll be, we'll go back and forth a couple times and I'll write their name down and send them a card. Um, so we still do that. We have client events, but the group is just, my goal is to get everyone I know into, um, in that group because now it operates everybody into a room that Facebook allows me to communicate with and they're not going to, you know, they're, they're there's no algorithm change it. I mean, they, they, Facebook's happy to have that because as, as they're in my group, because it's not like they're in an enclosed room. It just shows up in their feed and they can still show them ads. No. And what I really want to point out is that there's no algorithm saying but whether or not it. your information that you just said is going to be seen by all those people or not. And that's a right. huge breakthrough for, I mean, I knew this, but I really didn't realize all of it until it was just plainly said here, but you know, there's not, there, there, nothing's prohibiting. You're not working against it. you to try and make money off of it. The way that they right. make money off of a group is getting as many, you're working for them. They're like, hey, Will, get as many people into your group as possible, post some really nice stuff so that, because then they're on our platform and they can see our ads. I mean, that's pretty that's, much. That's exactly. So um, anyone who has questions, please um, feel free to ask away you have the opportunity in the floor to post a question i hate to be i mean i i hate to talk so much but it's very not at all we really need as realtors and even if you're a young realtor watching this uh, or a newer agent 
and you want to have a long career and not be a transactional agent and be forced to, you know, get a small split because you're getting leads. You need to provide world-class service, have them love you, do a good job, ask for a review at the end. I tell everybody at the beginning, I'm going to ask them for yep. a review at the end. Yep. So I say, my business is my reputation, reviews online. So at the end of all of this, I'm going to ask you for a review. That's and right. then I send them a review. Now I'm asking people to post reviews in the group because then that's social proof within the group. Um, and whatever you do, you need to stay in touch with your people. This is, forget about Facebook and whether you like Facebook or not. Correct. It's the only social media tool that exists that you can do this sort of thing with. It's become a utility. I mean, every major employer, university, hospital, uses Facebook groups to communicate with their students, employees, teachers. My Ohio University has a Facebook group to find roommates, right? Yep. So there's a parents Ohio University group. So the, the point is that these groups are created for people to communicate. So if you have one, it's the same shell and you can make it what you want it to be, which is a, a group for your database. It's like a social CRM. That's what it is. Completely. Uninhibited by any algorithm. type of algorithm that's going to prevent anyone in that group from seeing it. I even like the fact that it says 65 people have seen this. Right. You and know? by the way, ours, our re we have 850 in the, in the group. By the end of one day, almost every one of our posts has between five and 700 reach. That means between five and 700 people in the group saw it. Even if they didn't like it or comment. They saw it. And Compare you said that to your business page, the reach will be, it's less than 3%. Uh, the average for a group or a, a business page is 0.62% because they want to monetize it. They sure. want you to click that boost button and pay for it. And you still can't duplicate a group because it's broadcasting. People don't respond to broad, you don't go past a bill. If I see you on a billboard, I'm not gonna like interact with you. I'm just gonna see it. That's what business pages are for. And, and what do you mean it can't, you can't duplicate? On a you group? can't duplicate the reach in a group on a business page. Right. Like uh, the reach on a business page, if I have 1800 followers and, or fans in my business page, and I post something really cool. The most I'm ever going to see is like 100 people see it. Right. Usually it's like 42 out of 1,800, right? Yeah. And, and if I post something in the group, 600, 750 people see it. Are there other types of groups that make sense that are- There's all sorts of, I mean, I know agents that have been using groups for years. Like I know um, a loan officer rep, she works for a big company. You probably know who she is. She's got like three groups. Uh, I think she started NEO Babel. There's like 20,000 people in there, but that's a different tool. That's you create this massive community page. No one knows you. And then when people happen to post about looking for a realtor, you send them a message and say, Hey, I own this group. How about me? Yeah. This is about, so that's more like fishing. What I'm talking about is just nurturing the people that already know you. And, and we have a, a question and, you know, I understand. Um, here's the question. It says, sorry, please reiterate. What is the main benefit of the group over the standard list of Facebook friends on your personal page? Do groups go to the top of the feed? And so sort of break that down if you would. All right. So again, Facebook business, yeah. Facebook personal pages. Uh, okay. Shelly, so yeah, uh, personal business, personal Facebook pages have an algorithm that stops your uh, posts from going to everyone who's a friend of yours. They only go to people that Facebook determines you to have a relationship with, such as you've commented on their posts, they've commented on yours, and it work. I don't know how it works, but that's pretty much how it works. Um, if you're think about any groups that you're in, my group's no different. Think of uh, real closers, real estate rock stars, um, white uh, lab coats, um, 
social agent, these huge, massive real estate. Whenever they post in the group, on the top of your feed, it says real estate rock star agents. You know, Barino has posted to the group. So every time someone posts that group, or if I'm in a group, Cuyahoga Falls Talk of the Town, every time someone posts in that group about a restaurant that they hate and how they think they should be shut down, that seems like no toxic stuff in the group, by the way. Right on. Um, you know, when people post something like that, it says Cuyahoga Falls Talk of the Town posted and then you see it. So po group posts are pushed front and center by Facebook because they know that they mean something to you and you'll probably look at them. Exactly. Then, if you're looking at them, you're staying on the platform longer. They can show you more ads. Yeah. And, you know, um, Shelly, it's totally understandable that this is like because because. Everyone just probably put together, Will, a Facebook business page. Uh, and I always find out is people say, well, this. yeah, I have one. Now I don't know what to do with it. Post I, your sales there. Yeah. Post your sales there and your solds there. Because think of it as another website. People will search for you on Facebook to see if you've got an up-to-date business page. So you want to put your sales yeah. there. Even if you don't pay anything, people can search for it. See, even if it's got no interaction whatsoever, yes. they can see that you're selling homes. That's where you put it. This one is just to nurture people. Again, it's just to nurture people and, and strengthen relationships with people that you've already worked with or already know. And, you know, it's funny because I, like the, so the one that I'm in for Sugar and Falls community, yeah. I mean, I, I get a put every time it, every time somebody posts something, something pops up, like you said. I'm interested. I want to see what's being said. I'm either in, you know, I'm in a group, I'm in a um, post that I want to keep following the comments on. And, you know, it's when, when you ask a question in this private group of, we do it with our private group, you know, mm -hmm. um, what's the best advice you've ever gotten from um, a realtor in your, you know, since you've been a, an agent, we've asked all kinds of questions to get engagement and people write the best answers. It's awesome. And like you said, I go back and I write, oh my gosh, that's awesome. And they're from me personally. And it's right. from you personally. And you know, you can mass prospect. I mean, imagine we're talking to all these people. It's like texting back and forth with 800 people. Exactly. So you've got, you just hit 800 people four times a week. Except the other cool part, there's social proof within that because when they jump on your group, they see that you've got all these other fans that are engaging with you. It makes them feel better about you. It's right? So the more you make it, the more value it has to the others because they all feel like, wow, this Sherry's got this amazing group. All, I can't believe she's got all these people that know her. That makes them want to know you more. Social proof right there. And they're part of some, uh, you know, something that's fun and it's a community and whether it's educational or it's just fun or you're it's just fun and entertaining and informative. We, Oh, you can, you can, uh, you can make topics on each post. Do you ever do that in your group? Yes. So we have like restaurants, yes. local businesses, service providers, uh, things to do. And I'll go in, like someone will go on there and say, Hey, uh, where should I take my kids this weekend? And then you'll have 30 people tell them where they should take their kids. I'll categorize the post and as a things to do. Now people can search our group for restaurants, for contractors, you know, for all that. So I'm constantly trying and it takes hardly any time. But when people say, oh, that's too much, then I think, OK, are, what are you doing with your database? And it's probably taking you longer. Well, let me pause for a second. I used to print and mail a restaurant card with all right. the local restaurant numbers and yeah. golf courses. So now you can do it right here for free. You know, exactly. that's the thing about this is like, this is all free PR. It's free. Yeah, and all, and all Social Orchard brings to the table is we found all the best content that's already working in my group because I'm a freak. I'm an absolute freak about yep. not looking like a bozo. So you can be confident that if I got 70 comments here, yes. I'm in, I've got about 40 agents that so far that are using our content. Okay. Agents and loan officers, 40 to 45. And 
because we really haven't done anything to blow it up yet. Uh, but I see the comments that they get. And as long right. as they are interacting with them, then it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and it never goes stale. So basically for the 149 bucks a month, I mean, how much do we spend on other crap? No. And you know what? It's, it's turnkey. You know, I want, I'm providing your services. We're going to talk after this because I want you to have access to our Sherry Johnson Academy and literally have this as a solution for our uh, members, because I think, uh, and Zach's listening, I'm sure he agrees. We, this is all, it, first of all, the, the fee is is really low. And I'm going to raise it. We're going to have a setup fee. Yeah. I'm not going to raise it now, but we're, I already, I because I, because we make over a hundred grand a month selling houses, you know, I wasn't thinking money. Right. Really. I was just thinking this is an exciting thing different. I've been selling houses for 33 years. I can, you know, I get to use my head in a different way. I never really placed value on myself. And then I started thinking, I've been doing this 33 years since I was a kid. Um, I go to Florida three months out of the year. I make a really good living. Other people probably want this too. Exactly. Exactly. And it's about, you know, providing... Uh, you know, we're passionate, both of us. I, you know, when I, 1997, after my first year of selling houses, I proclaimed and said out loud, I'm going to have a national speaking, coaching and consulting company one day. Oh, yeah. I never thought of it until this year. <laughs> but you've got, and, and and here's what's great. You know, we're passionate about relationships and relationships are the key to a, any successful real estate business and any business not just not just business. Business. you're right and it's about value add and it's about hi uh, krista thanks for your comment very nice and julie clark this is awesome uh, and it makes so much sense see all these people love everything you're saying you know it boils down to protecting your past clients i just had a call the other day group call of, of agents someone in their sphere got a call from an agent who said i have a buyer for your house and she knew that that uh, person may sell at some point. She didn't act on it and she regrettably didn't act on it. That agent showed up with a buyer because people are being, thank goodness, oh, yeah. creative. Okay. Go find the listings. That's my plug for today. Stop waiting for something to come in the MLS. Go get the listings for your buyers. But she lost this opportunity because she hadn't, she hadn't kept in touch with them at all. And it's like, you knew they were a potential client and I'm so sorry that you missed that opportunity. And, you know, I say this all the time. Well, makes me stick thinking about it. Right. It's sickening. It's like, it makes me nuts. And I hate this phrase, but I say it all the time. And, you know, opportunities are not lost. They go to someone else. You know, right. Someone else is going to sell them a house or help them buy a house. And, you know, the very best thing I heard today and you said it, you know, we have to protect our past clients and sphere and the people who know us, love us and trust us. This has been outstanding. I'm so grateful that I got to meet you. And I'm actually, I'm, we're a big fan of all of this content. So we're going to have you on the show again. And I'd love to have you actually uh, produce something that goes into our, uh, into our Sherry Johnson Academy to help Absolutely. agents. And if anyone signs up, by the way, if I can say they get a free, they, when they sign up and they put their credit card in, it's not billed for seven days. They get the whole month's content, all the training videos right off the rip. And they don't even get charged until seven days. And then I made it because I get so annoyed if I sign up for something and I got to go through a flipping exit interview to bail out. Yes. I've, you can cancel it right in the dashboard without, and I don't even get notified. So someone can sign up, get the content, try it out. Um, they can call me. I'll talk them through it. I mean, I don't care. I mean, uh, cause I'm not a one-on-one -on -one coach. I, you know, right. You're right. a special person to have that. You know, I'm not that I'm a technician. So I'm, and I'm great with my team and I'm great with my clients, but this tool I'm so excited about because it's just, it works. And it, and it's not even a brainy thing. I mean, we're all on, it's like we all were on Facebook. We're all members of groups. We're commenting back and forth. Yes. And no one thought, can I use this in my business? I mean, I mean that, that's uh, socialorchard.com.
Is there any way you can put that out there? Yes, Zach, I'll put that on uh, while I'm still talking. Uh, Zach, if, you, if you're listening, I'm sure you are. Uh, we can put socialorchard.com. I also found it on Facebook if you do a search. Um, I, oh, I have a private Facebook group. Uh, how to grow your, how, how to, what's, I don't have Facebook on my phone, so I can't look it up. Um, how Isn't to grow your <laughs> referrals with a Facebook group. That's it. Okay. And then uh, Social Orchard is on Facebook and it says join or sign up. We have a private group. There's about 185 agents in there and we do monthly training for the okay. for our members. realtor members and people that aren't in it that are thinking about it. And well, I post gonna, content there almost every day. We're going to have you as one of our uh, preferred affiliates that people can use right from Sherry Johnson Coaching because this oh, is, oh, well, you have said everything. I am so, so glad we met. I can't wait to meet you. Literally. I feel exactly the same way. I can't believe that we'll have to look, like go grab lunch or something. Absolutely. We're 25 if, minutes if you away. you want to slum it in Summit County. Oh, that's <laughs> maybe we could we could meet in Hudson. I love Hudson. I have lots of friends in Hudson. Broadwin Malt House is in Hudson. One of my sorority sisters who's a realtor. You know what? I and I and I love Stowe. Actually, I know a lot of friends. I have um, family down there, and um, a great little town. It is so cute. It's so cute. Your website's awesome too, and um, you know, you're you're just the way you have presented all of this. I think. Well, if, thank you. I, I didn't. I didn't want to come in here and have people waste their valuable. Friday afternoon. And, and I mean, I pretty much laid it all out there. It's so important. I, Lori Roberts uh, from Ontario, Canada. I have to, I have to do a shout out. I feel like the Peloton uh, girl. <laughs> I feel like the Peloton coach with the shout outs on hundred, hundred mile, you know, hundred uh, your hundredth run. So yeah, Lori, thanks, thanks for being here. And Janelle Thomas. Who's, uh, I love seeing you on here, Julie Clark, all these great people. And what other question is name of the private group? So here, hold on, I'll tell you. I'm going to have to get, uh, give me one second. And that's the private group for Social Orchard. It's uh, right? Grow Your Real Estate Business with Facebook Groups. It's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Social Orchard. Social Orchard, yes. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, and yeah. Um, I'm definitely having you on the show again. I'll invite you into the into our group. I would love it. And I because yeah, you because since you're a coach, I'm not. You can put you, you know, you can let people know what you do. Absolutely. And um we're we will we will absolutely collaborate together because I think we've just hit it out of the park today. And it's every week uh, a better lineup from the one before. I'm probably gonna have you on a panel too. next week. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> No, I'm we have to go to Marco Island, which I love. It's one of my favorite places to go. Um, I am just thrilled that that we got to see each other and meet each other. And you have provided such amazing value today. And you spelled it out so easily. And, and in layman's terms, I think that's part of our problem, you know, is we're running around in the business. Right. Take some time, work on your business, create a Facebook private group. Do this. You know, I say it all the time. And until I have some expert like you, really just explain really the, the the best feature of this again is it's not interference everyone sees every post that's in that group from you um and it's yeah. putting you in front of people on a daily daily basis and it's a lot of fun and you know think about all the community uh restaurants and uh, retailers that uh, could use your help right now we're always looking to do that you've got uh you know contractors you've got the, it's endless it's an endless vip group yeah, we help we help them we we help these people out. It's not just posting like what's what restaurant when you know what's your favorite color, you know. <laughs> you know it's not you know we're we're giving them it's I try to be thought provoking. I don't want it to be like cotton candy, you know. Right. Yes, that's um, that's and if so I post, true. Right. If and I post I, something my, about oh sorry, I'll go no, ahead. No, my favorite one was what's your favorite restaurant that's not here anymore? You know, because everybody goes, oh, it's Carlos Pizza. Right. So Friday night, every single Friday night we went to Carlos Pizza and they had the best pepperoni pizza. And it's like everyone remembers that, you know, and then and then eventually, you know, people are posting pictures from 1984. Right. You know? That's what happens. It's and then so you just cool. every night I just go on, look at today's post. And I just go and I write it. It only how long does it take to type a sentence? Oh, Sherry, great to see you. Or I think you're I I. Great idea. 
you know, or something uh-huh. like that. Um, we, we would give anything to have conversations with these people. It's about conversations. Ricky Caruth. Do you know who Ricky Caruth is? I don't. Oh my gosh. On Instagram, he's got 250,000 oh, followers. He's a realtor, okay. but his biggest oh. thing is, is if, if you're not making enough money in real estate, you're not having enough conversations. I mean, we yeah. buy leads for what? Conversations. We, I mean, everything we do is to generate a, have someone call you. Well, if you can get your arms around your sphere of influence, no matter how big that is, I mean, I was making a six figure income when I was 25 by calling Fizbo's and presenting offers like at someone's house at night. Remember that? Yes. Oh, now yes. we've got it so easy now. It was I remember the best. My whole kitchen table would have sticker like sticker labels with the addresses on the edge. And, I, and I'd be getting the, rub, the, the, the circle dot, putting it on the newsletter, grabbing the address sticker, putting it on, getting a stamp, rubbing and rubber bands. Yeah. It's like, oh, it, yeah. you can text people. You can have a Facebook group. You can use dot loop. It, if you're not making a living, it's because you're, you're, step, you're tripping yourself up. Well, and David Knox was on the show a while ago and he said, realtors just don't want to talk to people. They don't want to have conversations. And They want to delegate everything. They want you to give them a shake and bake seller. Yep. It's just not, you're going to be working at Chase with your name embroidered on your shirt, making 28,000 a year. If you, if we let it go, you're, you know, that way. Yeah. And, and I'll tell you what, too, you know, we have this uh, system called the goldmine pipeline. And what I say is we are not having enough conversations with people. And that's why you're only selling seven or eight houses a year or 14 a year. And you have to expand a wider net and have 30 people, 40 people that you're talking to at all times, you know, that we aren't having enough conversations. We're, we're so in alignment. Well, Penny, that I'm like cracking up. It's like, it's, it's like, where have you been for my 25 years? Old. What's that? It's because I've just been hanging around. I mean, anyone else who's been in the business 33 years is, is, is like 75, <laughs> you know, just, right? It's yeah. just I got in. I got in too young. That's my yeah. problem. I just got in too young, and then I was just too stubborn to get out. No, I was twenty six, and I was young at the time. I was and, nineteen. And I was it, the youngest yeah. realtor in the Akron area board of realtors. My nickname, Sherry. This is why I work. This is why I had a BMW M three with orange seats right here. Flash in the pan, Penny. <laughs> Word of God, Leon right. Anderson. Leon Anderson, the rental manager at Century 21 Town and Country. Oh. I came in with a FISBO listing and he called me Flash in the Pan Penny. I was like, man, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and luckily, it didn't crush me. I just worked harder. That is. Flash in the Pan Penny. That was my freaking. <laughs> my God. So good. Yeah. That is so good. That's what I'm known for. Oh my God, I'm loving this whole thing. Well, you know what? It's, it is the, the person who can change the most will succeed the most. And we have to be more creative. We have to be. We have to be in front of our, our most treasured list of people. And those people can be part of your group. Someone just asked again, what's the name of that private Facebook group for, um, for all that are listening? It is like my Social Orchard one? Social Orchard. Yes, you're going to look up Social it. Orchard. It's... Uh... Grow your real estate business with Facebook groups. And I love uh, Janelle Thomas just posted, flash in the pan gave you fire. <laughs> and that did. Leon Anderson, he has no idea what he did to me. It's the best. It's the best. You know, ki- people told me the same thing, you know, like, and I just remember like my dad telling me, you might not sell a house for six months. And I was like, oh, watch this, you know? And I sold five my first month because I was like, not going to be, you know, I was a fear of failure, but it's like, that's what we did. That's what we did. And that's what we do. And it's just so great to meet you. You are yes, well. truly one of the very best. And I'm, I'm well, thank you are too. Thanks for saying that. We're going to, we're going to be, uh, we're going to be doing a lot together. I just know it. So um, everybody, I'm so sorry that we have to end. It's like, I don't even know what time no, it's it been. What, an hour. Oh, oh my God. God. An hour and minutes. Gone way over. I didn't even sorry. realize that. I'm so sorry. I talk too much. It's okay. You know what? Everybody, is walking out of here with uh, the gems. This is going to be uh, 
you know, put out onto our podcast. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll post, uh, I've got a video, um, how to set up a group. It's four minutes and 37 seconds long. That's all it takes to set up a group. I'll post the link. It's not branded or anything. It's just a video how to sure. set the group up. I'll post the link in your group. Excellent. And um, and we'll talk about what you can post in our Sherry Johnson Academy. I'll take you on a tour of it. And Yeah, uh, but in the mean, I'll just, if someone wants yeah. to set up a group on their own, I'll just yeah. at least show you how to do it. And I'll post Put it in the, it. Yeah. You want, and actually, you're in Rockstars in Real Estate with Sherry Johnson. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd yeah. be a great place to post that. Everybody here, if you are watching this after it's been live broadcast, uh, a video on how to set up a Facebook private Facebook group will be done, uh, will be posted in the Rockstar uh, with Sherry Johnson. Yeah, Facebook I'll, I'll group. We'll make a special it. post out of it too, Will. And, I'll and post we'll also the link how to do it. We'll also I mean, include. I have another video, like an inside view of my group. If you want, I can post that sure. so they can see. That'd be great. And we'll also, uh, Zach, we'll make sure that we also post, um, you know, how to get to socialorchard.com. Yeah. It's so affordable, all the content you need. Uh, yeah, you, get every, you get everything you need. All you have to do is post the content and for God's sakes, engage with the people when they make comments. If you don't do that, then don't even bother. In fact, the best part. In I fact, the best part. Right. If you don't do that, that it should be the best part. Because I'm like, who said something? Right. Who wrote a great comment? And Doesn't I, and it I like normally when someone comments on something you do on social media, it like gives you these endorphins like validation. Totally. But for some reason, when they, people do this, they're like, they just let it hang. It's well, crazy. you know what? I love to either do the laugh emoji, the heart emoji, and then I make a comment back to them. And you know what? Whether it's four hours later or two hours later, they still get that comment back in their in their. I, phone. I only do it at night. I don't have it on my phone. Yeah. So I do it one time a night. Every night before I get lost in Netflix, I open it up and I comment. That's it. It's not hard. It takes less than five minutes to catch up every day. Well, this is uh, this is just again the one of my favorite episodes. Be sure to check in, uh, download rather the You Rock with Sherry Johnson real estate podcast that offers tips and tricks and interviews, all kinds of strategies and tools to help grow your business and re and get relationships and conversations going. Uh, this has been absolutely. A, a fantastic hour and a half. I thank yeah. you so much. And I can't yeah, wait. To I'm sorry. I kept you going. So I don't mind at all. I don't mind at all. I, I swear to goodness, this I, I'm getting text messages that say oh, this is awesome. Everyone's texting me. Okay. Oh, so you rock as I say. And um, I'm just so glad we met and you have a wonderful weekend you too, uh, with your family. Thank you. And everybody uh, check in, tune in Every Friday, almost every Friday, we have an awesome interview with some awesome person, just like Will Penny. And again, it's socialorchard.com. Go check it out. You have a seven-day free trial, no credit card needed. You can cancel anytime in those seven days, get all the content. And I think you're going to love it and stay with it. So um, let's go sell some houses, everybody. And uh, I'll see you guys all soon. Take care. Great. Thank you. Thanks, Will. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.